57 to the 8th or 62 to the 7th? Which one is bigger and why? Consider the ratio of the two, which in turn we can write as a 7th power as follows. It's 57 over 62 to the 7th times an extra 57. Now, that is pretty complicated. Luckily, we can simplify the fraction to the left because 57 over 62 turns out is bigger than 9 tenths using a cross multiplication. So 9 tenths to the 7 times 57. Now, ideally, we would like to write this also as a seventh power. But luckily, 57 is bigger than 32 which is 2 to the 5th, which can be written as 2 to the 7th over 4. And now, this whole shebang, we can write this as a 7th power, as 18 over 10 to the 7, which is the same thing as 9 fifth to the 7 divided by 4. Now, here's a big issue. 9 fifth is a number that is bigger than 1, which, raised to the seventh power, becomes a monster. And the question is, is this monster bigger than or less than 4? Luckily, the thing that saves the day is the binomial theorem. Because 9 to the seventh, that is the same thing as 5 plus 4 to the seventh, which becomes 5 to the 7th plus 7 times 5 to the 6th times 4 plus some junk, positive junk terms. But now the thing that saves the day is the fact that 7 is bigger than 5. So this becomes bigger than 5 to the 7th plus 5 times 5 to the 6th. So 5 to the 7th times 4, and this is the same thing as 5 times 5 to the 7th, well, which is bigger than 4 times 5 to the 7th. So if you do 9 to the 7th divided by 5 to the 7th, you indeed get that it's bigger than 4. So this ratio is bigger than 1. And therefore, in the end, who is the winner of the chicken dinner? It's 57th to the 8th. So here, the exponent reigns supreme. All right, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you next time.